Welcome back. A Sioux Falls woman has used a love of painting to spread a message as Eric Thorstensen introduces us to Judy Leonard. This week, someone you should know. It's Mintaki Oyasin, meaning we are all related. Judy Lehner found her passion while growing up in Rapid City. I got excited about being an artist when I was in fourth grade. That led to a love of watercolor painting. I did a lot of florals and landscapes and that type of thing. He said, just paint what you know, and I thought, that's what I know. <laughs> but it was a moment in Judy's life that changed the theme of her work. We were in Little Rock, Arkansas. My husband had a conference there. I got inspired to do the paintings of the homeless people by a homeless person I met. From there, she tried to tell a story with a message with these paintings, trying to brighten up a dark time in people's lives. I started looking for homeless people and poverty, racial injustice. After I met him, it just changed the way I looked at things and things I noticed that I had never paid attention to before. 20 of Judy's paintings titled Liberty and Justice are in a permanent exhibit at the South Dakota School of Mines. It used to be in a door that was locked unless they let you in, um, but now it's in a hallway where students can walk by and they really they pay a lot of attention to the paintings. A trip to the Rosebud Reservation also inspired her to paint about Native American causes. The nation's hoop was broken and there was no center any longer for the flowering tree. The people were in despair. And that was written by Black Elk. Now she hasn't done as much work on the canvas lately. Well, with the move and my husband's passing almost two years ago, it's just, I haven't done much at all. But she plans to start up again in the studio of her apartment. Until then, she'll keep making the grandkids happy. My granddaughter, when she was about three, called me the purple grandma. Well, that's the painting I've been doing lately. I paint watercolor on my head. <laughs> in Sioux Falls, Eric Thorstenson, Dakota News Now. And Judy used to sell some of her paintings, but now she likes to give them to friends and family. As always, is there somebody you think we should all know about? Please email a nomination to news at dakotanewsnow.com.